So once again for this, what you're going to do is they'll give you one of the values and you're going to find what the value of the remaining variable is. Then for your last one, which is 14 through 22, as far as graphing, you're going to graph the equation. You have to create now your own input-output table with the domain and the range, and you can use the values for x just like I provided on the previous worksheet. And I have provided the graph paper and additional graphs just in case you make a mistake. Because at first when you start doing this, sometimes that does happen. And I will be able to go over the values with you here in class.